This week on Makers Lab TV, some serious sound stuff, what's in the warehouse, and laser reflection issues. So this client comes in, shows me the most amazing sound system I've ever seen in a car. Turns out he's sponsored to do this, and he wants me to design something visually accredited to his sponsors. I needed to show the sponsors some form of gratitude. I approached Riley, and he came up with a fantastic idea of uh, wrapping the back of my car to promote the sponsor's name. Cool project, isn't it? At am.co.za, we like to keep our warehouses full of new and old items because that way we make sure that there is always available stock of machines and accessories and plenty of spare parts. So keep watching to find out what has just arrived. So when it comes to engraving on metal, we have a problem. Because the laser tube produces a laser that goes through mirrors, if you engrave on the metal, it'll bounce back into the laser through the mirrors and back into the tube. And you'll destroy your laser just like that. Laser tubes are the heart of the laser machine. And obviously, you don't want to damage it. So how do you engrave on metal then? So for the design, my client told me that he wanted all the main logos in a V shape from big to small going down the middle of the car window. And then because there was too many logos, I decided to take two out, put one on either side to create a visually balanced look. The standalone extension table comes in five sections and can easily be assembled in minutes. It is light and robust and turns a large format printer into a flatbed just like that, allowing you to print on most flat surfaces of up to 5mm in thickness. You can find out more by calling sales on 060 600 6000. So engraving our metal is pretty much a no-no, unless we come up with a plan. Riley applies a few generous coats of the thermo liquid from am.ca.za and starts the engraving. Once done, the paste is brushed off in the water. And, well, hmm, could be better really. So when at first you don't succeed, you've obviously done something wrong. You know, not too over the top to make it look like it's really stylish, something really cool that everyone's going to enjoy looking at. Man, this looks good. Another happy customer. I'm absolutely stunned at how it came out and the design and everything. Brilliant work. Not happy with the first attempt, Riley tries various combinations of the thermal liquid thickness and the laser's speed and power and eventually finds the perfect combination. Different powers and different speeds and different layers of the thermal fluid give you different results. So what I'll just advise you is um, you have to just uh, sit down with your material, sit down with your machine, um, try different applications, um, try different speeds, try different powers. At the end of the day, from a technical uh, perspective, it's just about experimenting and good luck. In 2020, we celebrate eight years in business, heading toward infinity and beyond. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.